So here we are at a white ash tree. Now, one of the main characteristics of a white ash tree to help identifying it when compared to the other species, such as black and green, is gonna be these very deep furrows on the bark pattern. That alone is very unique to the, the white ash species in compared to the other ones, such as green and black. But other than that, the main thing you're gonna need to help you identify it is gonna be this white fuzz on the back of the leaves of the white ash itself. And that is actually where it gets its name from because of the white fuzz that is on the back of the leaves themselves. But white ash trees actually drop their seeds in the fall time. Right now it is September 21st here in Middle Tennessee. And the seeds of a white ash tree are just gonna be these little leaflets uh, these little seed helicopters looking things on the back of it and this is what you're going to want to go ahead and collect to grow your white ash tree from seed. So what we're just going to go ahead and do is collect quite a few of these little seeds uh, and then we'll move on to the next step which is going to be to actually take apart the seed helicopter itself and just pull it. Alright guys so here we are with our white ash seeds and what we're doing is we're moving on to the next step which is just cold stratification. So what I went ahead and did is just got a large Ziploc bag, I dated it, have the name of the seed we're working with and I just went and got some moist peat moss and put it in here. So all we're gonna do is simply take our white ash seeds, which are these keys, and this is actually what the seed looks like when it's outside of its little uh, green, little helicopter part of it. Um, so what we're gonna do, and again, you don't have to remove this part of the seed from doing the research I did, is we're all just gonna go ahead and open this, open this up, take our seeds, and there's a little bit of water, but that's okay. We're gonna mix it all up in there. And I'm trying to grow quite a bit, um, so I'm mixing in quite a lot of white ash seeds, and the more the merrier, you know? Uh, but so we're just gonna go ahead and mix it up in the soil. Peat moss, nice and moist, keep it moist throughout the winter months. Zip it up, and that's gonna be it, guys. So all we're gonna do is go ahead and take this bag and let it go through cold stratification, which is gonna be like the winter months. So probably in you know late February, early March, we're gonna go ahead and take this out of the fridge, get these seeds planted in some pots outside, and hopefully we should be seeing some sprouts of the white ash tree um, in the early spring once we have it planted outside because it's gone through that cold stratification. Now, some people, they like to take the seed directly and just put it in pots outside, and you can do that as well. It's just these seeds do need to go through a period of <clears throat> cold months in order to break down, I believe it's a seed embryo, to root and begin germination so that the tree itself will actually grow. Because if you just took these seeds and planted them and put it, uh, just try to plant them and you just had them and it didn't go through this period of coldness, then it actually wouldn't sprout and you would never actually get the tree seed. Uh, so that's going to be it for this step, guys. We're going to follow up in the springtime and that's it. Catch you in the next one. So gang, here we are. It is April 28th, definitely later than I would have liked to get these white ash uh, stratified seeds planted. You can already see some rootage in the bag, uh, which is pretty cool. But usually, you know, early, early March, a little bit before March, honestly, that is when you're gonna wanna go ahead and get your seeds planted in pots, ready for the spring. I mean, we've been having some late frost this year, uh, here in Tennessee at least. So, you know, if you're doing it indoors, that's great. Um, but honestly, when you see rootage in the bag, that, that's a good sign and you want to, but sometimes there'll be too much rootage and then it's a hard mess to tangle, especially only if, if you're only growing a couple, not a lot. Uh, then you just want to be careful. You, know, you really want to keep your eye on it and watch it. As for me, I know that I wish I could have got these planted sooner. But nonetheless, we are going to go ahead and check on our white ash seeds. And again, we could already see some that had the, you know, the root rootage going on. A lot did not. Uh, which is again fine not all of the seeds are going to root early on only a handful kind of just handle through this and i mean these are all seeds you know all of our little helicopter kind of looking things but here we go here is an example of a nice stratified correctly now germinated tree seed and this is a white ash it still has its you know little flake on it it's rooting through it and this is exactly what we want to see and this is a good good sign i mean it's been done correctly so what we're going to do so literally take our seed, not do like a half inch, an inch or whatnot, go ahead and lightly just put soil over it, give it a nice little tap, and honestly that is going to be it for this step y'all. We are going to keep this pot soil moist, keep it in the greenhouse, I just built this greenhouse, so we're going to keep it nice and secure so no wildlife is going to get to it, uh, and we're just going to monitor it. We're going to watch it and hopefully in you know three, four weeks we're going to see a nice beautiful stem form and we're going to have a nice, nice beautiful white ash sapling and our process will be complete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and probably plant another 10 or so of these, I'm gonna findle through these and try and find the ones that have signs that are showing signs of rootage. 
Again, you don't have to um, do that because sometimes you won't really have any, and that's fine. Uh, but it's just an extra little precautionary step to try and help ensure that, hey, you're not going to you know, accidentally plant any duds and waste your time uh, with some like these. But a lot of these did not root already, so it's no big deal. But again, this is what you want to see. Nice, beautiful root. Obviously, pay, plant it Excuse me, with the root facing down, and you should be all set. So that's going to cover it for this clip and this part of the tutorial. I'm going to follow up with you guys three to four weeks, uh, and I will show you our nice, beautiful white, white ash saplings. October 31st, and these are our white ash uh, saplings that we have grown from seed. Now, I know it's been forever since the last clip, and honestly, it's been way longer than you'd ever want to keep them in these small pots. But this year, I've just been really busy, had a lot going on, so I wasn't able to properly manage these as much as I'd like to, like usual. But this is what we got. So out of all the other ones we had, I had quite a few, you know, dry out. I weren't getting enough water. I was watering pretty infrequently. And it was just pretty bad conditions overall uh, that didn't make it. But I had these two guys that actually made it, survived, and are thriving. So this white ash sapling we had like one leaf, wasn't doing too good for the longest time, for many months. And then I put a bag under it and would fill it with water so it would keep the soil moist. So I, because I couldn't water, I'd water every, you know, two weeks and that just wasn't enough. And this one over here actually rooted through the pod and into the soil in the greenhouse. And it's just been thriving. It's been doing really good. With the amount of time it's been since the last clip, you definitely should see the sapling looking more like this. And the only reason this one isn't is because I haven't been able to water. I still hadn't transplanted it. And what you'd want to do is once it's around this size and it's good and moist, you're taking care of it, you want to transplant it to a larger pot, something like this. Just because it is a tree and trees need room for deep rootage uh, and these little pots are great for starting off but they're definitely not something you want to keep it in long term unfortunately like i've done this year so that is going to be it that is the completed tutorial for how to grow white ash from seed uh, these are beautiful trees they can be a little bit of a nuisance with all the seeds they drop but nonetheless here they are this is a completed tutorial now what you'd want to do uh, is just make sure you keep the pots moist. That's the biggest thing I can suggest. Keep the pot moist. Make sure you got a good soil mix, your native soil with maybe some potting soil and or tree or shrub soil from Lowe's. And then also make sure that you're planting it in a large enough pot. Uh, just because, again, trees need room for rootage and you don't want to, you can actually cause uh, the roots to get bound when you have small little pots like this. So that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And sorry about the delay. Wish I had them in bigger pots and everything for you all, but they look great. And that's it. Catch you in the next one.